What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Ant Will Plays. Today we're playing High School Story Classic Act Book 2. Um, AJ is taking us somewhere, but I don't know where it is. They just ended it on that. Oh man. And this election thing is still happening and is still going on. I can't believe I'm helping both sides though. Eh, I'm just hoping both sides win. Hopefully. Anyway, let's begin. AJ, AJ scooped your crew for a... Scooped your crew up for a surprise adventure. But to where? We shall see. Chapter 6, With the Fishes. I knew it! I knew we were going to the aquarium. You stare open-mouthed at AJ's mystery fancy car. Oh! And we didn't even get to see the car either. I guess this is a thing now. Is this car yours? Did you win the lottery and not tell me? It was a gift from my family. Besides, the lottery's a, the lottery's a scam. Tony, come on. Come on, let's get going. We're going on an adventure. All right. You climb into the back seat of AJ's car, buckling in next to Sky. AJ wastes no time in getting on the road. The look on your face when you came out was priceless. So it was priceless. Where exactly are we going? The Seven Seas Aquarium. I uh, see. I told y'all. I knew it was the aquarium. What are you talking about it? Of course, you all told me you'd never been to one of the one of the outs to the one outside of Cedar Cove, and I couldn't, and I couldn't, and I couldn't, in good con science, let your hers continue. So he honked his horn really loud outside all of our houses until we got in the car. It made Brian drop his phone into a cereal. Horrific? Sounds like a good excuse for a good trip. How long are we? How long are we driving? I mean, for do we have snacks? Can we blast music and sing along to all the parts at the same time? One hour. I brought the goldfish, goldfish to be sympathy, and call appropriate. And if you absolutely must. We must. You admire the car's interior, and as Rory puts, a, puts, a, puts on the Little Shop of Horrors soundtrack. The Little Shop of Horrors soundtrack from the movie. I can't, and I can't believe that movie had two endings. Anyway, mm, I love this new car smell. I just want to bury my nose in seats. So do I. My car, was, my old car was a hand-me-down from my cousin. So I'm excited to finally have something in decent shape. Look how easy it accelerates. Not clunk, it's not clunky at all, like the other car. He pushes, he pushes his foot down on the pedal and the front. And then the car effortlessly picks up speed, shooting down, down the highway. So smooth. It, it's an awesome car. We have to give it a good name. What is with you in naming cars? We, hey, we have to call it something. It already has a strong personality. It deserves a name. How about AJ's car? That's lame. Wait, I got it. The Queen C, like Queen B, but since we're going to the aquarium, this the Queen C, it is. Rory reaches back to high five you. You've 
You, you swat her palm as is yes, while Sky smirks. Rejected, denied. Did someone please change the subject before I throw you all of, out of AJ's car? Fine, let's see. You told me there'd be poisonous jellyfish at the aquarium. That's a very sky thing to be excited for. I personally, I'm personally holding out for d some dolphins. I was obsessed with them when I was a kid. I remember your dolphin backpack. I'm excited for... <sighs> All day quality time with you. Oh, Tony, you're always so sweet. Excuse me while I vomit. Don't lie, Sky. You're excited to be with all of us, too. He smiles, but quickly hides it by staring potentially at the window. Sorry. Busy bothering. Is anybody looking at, at a map? I've never driven here myself, so I'll need some assistance. You and Rory both pull out your phones and plug in the address. Looks like you turned left up ahead. This left? No, it's the left after. Too late. I made the turn. What now? It's rerouting. Let me see yours. I think it mine's right. Did something say right? Did someone say right? I'm turning right. Wait, no, no one said right. No. After multiple wrong turns and significant yelling at your map apps. You arrive at the Seven Seas Aquarium. The inside is bathed in the blue light from the tanks, with colorful creatures in every corner. Wow, this place is huge. The Cedar Cove Aquarium could fit in a, in a quarter of this place. Told you so. Look, an octopus. <laughs> Look over there, it's an octopus. A bright tentacle pressed a bright tentacle presses up against the glass of its tank, as if to say hello. Hello there, Mr. Octopus. You press your hand to the glass where the octopus has reached out. It looked at you exclusively. Does it know we're saying hi? Okay, possibly. Octopi are known for their intelligence. This brings out so many memories as a kid. I always had to see the octopi first. It was basically tradition. I went through a whole sea creature phase as a kid. I remember reading Octopi can learn to escape from just about anywhere. Sky stoops down to read the pluck card. Look what this says. They apparently get so stressed from boredom that if you don't don't put interesting stuff in the tank, or they eat their arms from the anxiety. That's really understandable. I see why you like them, AJ. <laughs> Sound very smart. They're they're problem solvers just like you. It says here they're also solitary creatures that sound familiar. Solitary? Who's the one who loaded you? Who's the one, one who loaded you all in his car to come here? It's okay, I, I relate to. After you've seen all the octopi your friends wanted for the jellyfish exhibit. Ah, oh, it's your favorite poisonous sea balloons. Look, you notice, you stop noticing AJ is glued to his phone. His, he lags slightly behind the roof. Lucy's really climbing in the poles. Looks like we go on the offensive again. Hey, no work to get today. You're the, you're the one who took us here in the first place. Right, but the updated opinion polls just got posted. It's my job as campaign manager to be on top of this. From now on, all phones are banned. Starting now, we're going phone free. How the tables have turned. Does no one remember that was a bad idea? Yeah. 
AJ pockets his phone, but as your friends proceed to peer at the floating jellies, he just stares off into space. You okay? Mm, yes. Oh yes. Of course, it's good keeping an eye on the election. It keeps my mind off other things. Knowing you, your mind's always zooming around. I hope everything's... Suddenly, you're interrupted by Roy's excited shine. Look! We can... We can go pet manta rays over here. You all run over to the tank and marvel at the manta rays gliding along the sandy seabed. They look like they're flying. I hope they don't sting us. Guess you'll have to see. It's very unlikely. I remember them being quite docile. Here, let me show you. AJ washes his hands and you all follow suit. He reaches into the tank and pets a manta ray on the head. It guides closer to the surface towards sky. Why me? You're the chosen one. Sky puts out a tentative hand stroking the smooth back of the ray when he starts pulling away he nudge, it nudges against her hand oh looks like someone's made a new friend oh yeah i guess so you move on the interactive starfish tank your fingers running along the creature's rough arms oh wow hmm I thought it would be softer. They're so tough. They must have such an easy life in, down in the ocean. Actually, they're eaten by otters like multi-pointed Doritos. Don't put that image in my head. Suddenly, a cheerful voice crackles over the intercom. <laughs> Dolphin extravaganza in 15 minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, and meet playful dolphins. Roy oddly gasps, her eyes wide. <gasps> oh my god, we have to go. Please, Tony, we could, we could play with dolphins. Roy jumps up and down at a little, forgetting herself in excitement. I've seen dolphins, I've seen the dolphin show more times than I can count, and it's fairly impressive. But the fronts, but the fronts, the splash zone, I'm really not feeling like getting wet today. That doesn't sound like my thing either. Plus, my parents would kill me if I came home soaked. You two should go. Uh, though, we'll hang, we'll hang around over there. Tony, do you want to go? It sounds like so much fun, and I really don't want to go by myself. Special moment. Let's go meet some Dalvids! Rory lifts, Rory lifts you up and kisses you and twirls you around before setting you back down. Uh, you're making my dreams come true. Tell me. Hey, I want to see the dolphins too. This isn't all. This isn't all for you. Rory takes your hand and leads you to the dolphin show. You take your seats right in front of the dolphin pool. Look, they're playing with a beach ball. I'm looking. Dolphins blow my mind. They're so smart and social. They have a whole language made of noises. It's nuts to me how humans think. You think how humans think. We're, we're the most complex animals on this planet. You know so much about them. I used to watch a ton of documentaries about dolphins with my mom. Excuse me. I had a lot of sessions as the as a kid. First it was dolphins, then astronomy. You were into dinosaurs for a for a while too. I'm pretty sure I adopted that one from from you when we met. You'll be the expert. You'll be the expert if we go to the Natural History Museum. But dolphins, Tony, they're so majestic and awesome. I have too many feelings about them. 
I can see that. No wonder they're almost cuter than you. Rory stops mid-dolphin sentence and bites her lip, a tiny grim for me. Since when did you get so smooth, Tony? I've always had it in me somewhere deep down. Rory lips, Rory's lips brush up against your cheek, her voice, her voice at your ear. Well, I like this brave new of you. The audience cheers as a trainer in a wetsuit emerges. It's time. Welcome to the Seven Seas Aquarium Dolphin Extravaganza. Three dolphins leap, in, leap high into the air, diving gracefully back underwater. When they land, you feel... You feel a cool mist of your face from the splash. Whoa. Everybody meet Daisy and Dolph and Darling Meet Daisy, the dar darling dolphin of the deep. A small dolphin leaps from the water spinning in the air. She swims up to the trainer and gobbles a fish from his hand. What a good girl. Give her a hand, everyone. Woohoo! Let me love you. Hey, you two cheering in the front. Why don't you come on down? Oh my god, Tony, that's us! You both jump and follow the trainer to the edge of the pool. Come over here. Around, around the pool, take your shoes off and wade in to say hello. You can both go ahead and pet her. She loves people. You stoop down to get a better look. The little dolphin swims right up to you, nudging your head with her head. <laughs> and it seems like she's taking a particular liking to you. Hello there. What are your names? I'm Tony. I'm Dolph. Uh, I mean, Rory. <laughs> Well, to well, Tony and Rory, I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead you through some tricks with Daisy. All right. Fair warning: you might get splashed. It's if it's from here, if it's from her, I don't mind at all. Great. Let's try guiding her through a jump. Tony, point at a hoop, at the hoop, and do a little circle with your hands. We'll give her a nice, tasty herring once she's jumped through. Ready, Daisy? That sounds like a yes. Go, Tony, go. You wave, you wave your pointing hand in, in a circle. Dizzy jumps cleanly through the hoop, and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> Daisy, we did it. Daisy swims back to you, and you toss us the treat into her waiting mouth. She swallows the fish in one go. My turn. Rory Eversley guides Daisy through the droop, through the jump. The audience erupts into applause. <laughs> In her excitement, Daisy slaps her tail into the wire, sending a spray of sending a spray all over Rory. Daisy, no. At least AJ's new car is a strong heater. Will dry off so fast on the way back that those seat warmers will feel amazing. Hopefully, AJ won't mind the duff of water on his new leather seats. Though his face will be pretty priceless. He and Roy step a little further into the pool, watching Daisy swim around. Daisy, you're such a good girl. I wish I could take you home. We could keep you in the bathtub. Wait, but we have to keep fish for her to eat. As dull as that sounds, I think she's happier swimming in here with all this space. Before we continue on with you on with the show, let's have you two pose with pose with your friend, new friend for a picture. Tony, how should we pose? Hmm. That dancing. Yes. You read my mind. Smile. 
With daily swimming happily between you, Roy pulls you in, you in for a sweet kiss above her head. Your heart races and your cheeks flush, and as the camera shutters clicks, the audience bursts into a righteous applause. Looks like you two sweethearts stole the show. I must be dreaming, Tony. Mm -hmm. Tony, this can't be real. The photograph slides out, out the bottom of the camera and you hold it up for you and Roy to see. Here's proof you're not. I'm gonna hang it up in my locker so I see it every day. You two head back to your seats waving goodbye to your new dolphin friend as another audience member steps up. Later in the afternoon, you and Roy, you and Rory catch up with Sky and AJ. Whoa, you two are soaked. Yep, AJ was kidding about the splashdown situation. Totally worth it though. Just dry off before you get in my car, and we're, and we're good. You continue wandering around the aquarium, breaking off from the group to explore. You look around and see Rory gazing at a school of fish. AJ inspecting the electric wheels. And Sky is smiling up at the sharks. Walk over to AJ gazing with him at the colorful eels in undulating through the water. He turns to you. Graceful, aren't they? Kind of scary, but yep, graceful too. Last time I was here, I was nine years old, and the eel exhibit didn't even exist yet. <laughs> The rest of this place is basically a time capsule, except, excuse me, except how f for how far this, uh, for how the turtles are supposed to be in this tank, but now it's eels. Oh no, I'm getting old. You're not old. I like going back to places from my childhood. Like, there's this one tree Lucy and I used to climb back at the park, except we were really small, so it seemed super difficult. But, but it's now, but now it's easy. Easy for Lucy. I'm still afraid of, I'm still a little scared of heights. A rigid, as rigid as it's, as I seem, I used to climb trees. I could give you pointers sometimes. Maybe, only if you go first. I'll consider it. I'm glad you're here, Tony. You always remind me I need to take life a bit less serious. Yep, you probably forget how to smile, if not for me. Careful, or I'll take back the compliment. You make, it, you make a face at him, and he laughs. You both look at the exhibit for a while longer. You head towards Sky, who has a dreamy look on her face, the rippling blue light from the shark tank reflecting on her pale skin. I used to be so afraid of sharks, I didn't want to go in the water, want to go swimming at the beach. I'm pretty sure sharks aren't looking for people to eat. You never know if I think I'm a snack. Well, I think you are. A hot blush spreads across your entire face. Sorry, Sky. I'm not in love with you. I hope that wasn't too much. N no, I'm fine. You look into the shark, into the tank, watching the multiple patterned sharks swinging around. Hold on. They are pretty behind glass when where they can't get me. Yeah, good enough. Check out the smaller ones, fists swimming near the top. You and Sky marvel at the sharks for a bit. You wander over to Rory, whose expression looks far away. You stand beside her. Penny for your thoughts? Oh, I didn't see you walk. You walk over. 
You startled me a little. I was just enjoying all the fish. It's it's always kind of calming how the how big the world is compared to me. Like how important I like how important can my problems be if I were if I, if we don't even know what's happening in 90% of the ocean, you know? 90%, huh? The human intelligence out here. I mean, we're all fo we're focused on finding aliens in space, but deep fish are basically aliens. Oh wow, I never even considered that. That would be so cool. Imagine you're a deep sea diver and suddenly a fish with I don't with I don't know five eyes has written on rocks, rocks in some fancy language. I'm not sure if I want to be that deep sea diver, but I would share the article about him on face space. Rory turns away from the tank to look at you, a big smile on her face. I needed this trip way more than I thought, especially with the with the election. I spent so much time playing in a role, but with you, I always feel like I can be myself. Anytime. Sometimes you just gotta have fun and not care or what anyway thinks. Oh wait, but you taught me that. I guess I needed a reminder. Rory gently runs her fingers through your hair and softly kisses your forehead. I always remember how sweet you are, though. I, um, what are words? It's okay, we don't need words. When there's so much beauty to look at. You and Rory gaze at the fish, pointing out the prettiest colors. A couple hours later, AJ is driving you all back from the aquarium. Rory hugs on her new stuffed animal. You got a dolphin in the gift shop? I named her Daisy the second. Ah, after the dolphin you and Tony met. The sun has set. When you arrive in Cedar Cove, AJ drops Sky off and then Rory. See you two on Monday. Well, today is Monday. Rory disappears into her house. You're about to get out of the car when you notice an odd look on AJ's face. AJ, what is it? You know, taking this car out for a spin wasn't quite as satisfying as I expected. Is something wrong with it? No, it's perfect. That's the problem. One of my perks of my parents' parents fighting is that I they've decided to compete at being the better parent. So they've been spoiling me and Mo and Mohid and my dad decided to get me this absurdly high-end car, which we definitely can't afford. That's really a question. You're basically being bribed to side with your dad over your mom. Exactly. It's, it feels terrible. I hope we I hoped getting behind the wheel would feel great because my dad got me into appreciating cars, but it just reminds me how fractured my family feels right now. That makes sense. The car is just the car is just an extreme move. I was getting used to the stuff that would happen after f fights, like dad taking us for ice cream and mom buying it me music <coughs> but this is a whole different level AJ do bigger gifts mean worse fights bingo your observation as always observant as always they had the most vicious one I've ever heard I wasn't supposed to know, but they weren't exactly quiet. AJ t takes a shaky breath and shadow swallows before continuing. I, it's hard to admit, but I'm starting to really worry they'll divorce. I'm terrified of having to move away from senior year and leave all of you behind. You have to move. Maybe. Hopefully not. 
the worst part is is just knowing, not knowing. Oh my god. I hope I don't get separated from Mohid. I don't think I will. But I'm flying blind here. He moved to. My mom complained about being far from her family then in India, so I'm worried she might want to move back. As for my dad, who knows? You better, you better not have to leave. I missed you way too much. I missed you too, Tony. I miss you too, Tony. I'll be here f f for you no matter what. Even if you're far away, you will be getting daily memes. It just cracks a small grin. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a light in the darkness. I'm glad we took the trip today. I had fun, really. And the point was was to turn something depressing into a good memory. Well, if you think we succeeded, I do. And thanks for the support. It feels good to trust you with all this. Uh, I'm supposed to go home for dinner, but I really don't want to sit through another tense evening. I wish there was something I could do. Actually, do you want to come? I appreciate the company, and maybe with you there, it'll be enjoyable. Yeah, no. I promised my parents I'd have dinner with the family tonight. Dad's trying out a new recipe on us. I get it. That sounds fun. Text me later if you need need to vent through, though. I want to be here for you. I will. I'll see you on Monday. Have a good night, Tony, and thanks for listening. The next Sunday, it's still the weekend, you and Lucy are eating breakfast late in the morning, still in your pajamas. Biscuit wags her tail, looking longly at the food on the table. Biscuit, that's people's food. There's literally brand new food in your bowl. I promise I know it doesn't smell as good. Hey, Tony, check this out. Are you... Did you... Put peanut butter on the on the leftover cold pizza? Yep, and it's delicious. <laughs> Lucy takes an ex extragated bite, speaking while she chews. Mmm, savory. See, you're a monster. Lucy laughs in delight at your insult, throwing her head back. You're so gross. How are we related? You just haven't tried it yet. Come on, do it. It'll change your life. No, you crazy weirdo. I'm gonna eat my pancakes like a normal person. Suit yourself. Enjoy being boring. You two dissolve into hysteric giggles at your antics. Your phone buzzes and you pick it up. Oh, give me a sec. It's AJ. You there? Yep, what's up? Family stuff. Need to talk. Need someone to talk to. I got you. I got you. Talk to me. I thought this was coming, but it feels surreal. My mom just announced the divorce. Oh. Yeah. Sucks. Next time on High School Story Class Act, should have just put Class Act. With AJ's family imploding, will he hold up under the pressure? Probably. See, they're both neck and neck. Neck. And those two didn't even get no votes. They only got one star. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guess we're taking a break from the from the election, and now we're just focusing on just things out of the ordinary. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Share this with your friends, comment below what you think of the video, and if you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, go hit the notification button next to the subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video.